Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. And hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Once again, we're at the title screen, and we see that, predictably enough, Flurry has joined the group. It's starting to get downright crowded there. So, back into it, going to the Great Tree in the Boggly Woods, and we have to go rescue the Punies without the help of that oversized coward right there. Because seriously, he's just making excuses. Well, we can't go through this door. Weak, this one won't open. So, there's really only one way we can go. Going up. All right. This is interesting. Off to the left there is a pillar with a number on it, and when we stand here, it goes down from 10 to 9. Oh, look at that. That's the first example we've seen so far of a hidden panel there is a star piece under there, but we don't have the equipment we need to open it up yet. We can bounce it with the hammer, but that's not good enough. Fortunately, it won't be very long before we get that particular equipment. We might get it in this very episode. Whoa. Temporarily boost a party member's attack power. Oh, look at that. A nifty thing behind him. Okay. I want Goombella to be able to tattle on both of them. So, let's spread out the damage a little bit. No, you know what? Let's just move Goombella to the front. That way I can... <laughs> That's an x knot says here is classified as an enemy combatant. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I mean, aren't all of these title targets enemy combatants? <laughs> but anyway, this way I can still finish him off while nonetheless getting in the towel. That description stinks. You think it means they're just low-level foot soldiers? Max HP 4, attack 3, defense 0. <coughs> wow, excuse me there. <coughs> they drink these potions to make them all big and burly, then they attack. One's easy, but if there are two or more, better watch out. Use your partner's moves and items to take them down. Okay. Well, we did get the guard. Uh oh. Mini yucks. That's a mini yucks, a creature made to protect a yucks. It can split into two. Max HP 1, defense 0. Seems like they won't attack directly. These little, these twerps are the reason you sometimes can't do any damage to the main yucks. They're a pain, but you have to beat them before the yucks. Flurry's pretty effective. Yeah, so if we had Flurry out here, she could 
use her wind gust to just take out both of them. Okay, so. <clears throat> Put her back. Take out that guy again. We don't want them to multiply, and then she will tattle on the main one. And now we can finally get down to business. That's a yucks. It says here it's a creature created in the x naught labs. Max HP 3, attack 2, defense 0. According to this, attacks and items won't affect it if it has mini yucks around it. So if any mini yucks appear, take those out first, duh. Okay, now I can finally take care of business. Hmm. Oh, I was about to say maybe I should try multi bounce to get rid of the mini yucks and then attack the main yucks, but I don't have multi bounce to do that, so yeah, I'm just gonna have to go like this. Uh oh. Oh, great timing! Right when I don't need the attack boost, she gives me one. Oh! I was about to say, oh, it lasts for more than one round, but no, it doesn't. Boy, I'm up to an audience of 48 members. That's pretty good. HP refill too. Your HP is full. Yes, I know. Thank you. Oh. Right, I was trying to do the stylish and that messed up the entire action command. Oh well. Yeah, that fight took probably longer than it should have, but... At least now I don't have to tattle on those things anymore. I've got it all done. I want to get rid of the X-Knot in the back, so let's hit him with Power Jump. And now, head bonk this one. Okay. Again, I tried to do the stylish, and I didn't get it, but at least that didn't mess up the regular action command. Let's actually try Flurry. I wish it told me what the action, how to do the action command. Okay, let's just. Oh, I have to hold down the A button. I thought I had to jab the A button. Let's try that again. You got a mushroom, yay. Let's try that again. Huh. 
Ha! Huh. Okay, it doesn't matter how much... It doesn't matter how good I do. She still doesn't do any damage to the Yucks when it's defended by that shield, so why bother? So what was Gumbella saying about how Flurry is really effective against them? That didn't really do much of anything. Hmm. Well, whatever. At least now I know. Anyway. What do I have for items? Do I have any... Um... I was going to say, did I have any uh, honey syrup left? But no, I don't. Darn. Okay, sort. ABC. Hmm. Or types. Let's go with types. Ha, huh, look at this. Elder! Peonio, is that you? You're looking well. Why are you so calm, Elder? You're trapped, and this is our daring rescue of you. Oh, a rescuing, is it? Well, thanks, I suppose. Those are quite exciting. But I think you ought to help the other peonies before you rescue me. Where are the others? Big brother! Where was I? Ah, yes, right. Your question. The rest of the peonies, unfortunately, are locked away in the other cell. I don't mind telling you, those uncouth vile goons just have no consideration whatsoever for the elderly. None, none, I tell you. Honestly, I have to ask, what's a puny like me supposed to do in a situation like this? I ask you, please, I want to know. But anyway, puny, oh, listen. Yes, listen to your elder. I have to say something vital to you. Listen up. Mm, let me think. Where was I? Ah, yes, right. Your question. The rest of the punies? Okay. So the elder just keeps repeating this stuff. Is that my punio? Petuni, thank heavens. You're here. You're safe. I knew you'd come for me, punio. I just knew it. Of course I would, dear sister. And it brought us a mighty ally. Look at him. We're going to t get you out of there right away, I swear. You just hold tight a second. Okay. Mario, listen, we got to find the cell keys or we're going nowhere. Okay, we can still go further along here. Come on, hit the bush. There we go. Nothing there. Ah. Man, this is brutal. How much longer till we find that stupid crystal star? Not even those puny punies we captured know anything about it. And they live here. And worst of all, I got stuck holding on to this stupid cell key. <sighs> so bored. Feels like a big old nap is in my near future. Um, ouch. Well, isn't this a... Oh, well, isn't this a tree? We must stop meeting like this, don't you think? Hey, stop right there, Missy. You're that thieving girl we saw before. What are you doing here? Well, anyway, I heard there were nice badges to be found here, so I came looking. <laughs> but who cares about that? Lovely to see you again. Ew, not another smooch. This flirting is out of control. The precious crystal star you're looking for is beneath this tree underground. Good luck finding it before the others. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Take care, my handsome stash superstar. Let's get together again soon. I 
can't believe that girl. Ah, I can't stand her. Uh, my aching. Hey, you! You're the dirtbag who hit me from behind, aren't you? No, but uh, I won't deny we would have done that had we the chance. Yeah, real fair, you scum. You fight dirty, I you get dirty, and I'll be doing the dirting. Can't flee this fight. Oh dear. Gotcha! Stylish for both of them. Key, you got a red key. A key that opens the red cell door. Right. What's in here? Uh, just in case it's an item of some sort. Hmm. I really don't have much of anything that can restore FP. These mushroom fries do, but... Well... Hmm... If I use it on Flurry, will it still restore FP? Let's find out. Yes, it does. Okay. Alright, so I did get a little bit of healing. And I got some FP back. An Ultra Shroom. Excuse me for all the sniffing. Still got a nasty cold. Anyway, my first Ultra Shroom. Hmm. I wish there was a store nearby so that I could, you know, pop it in storage. I really don't want to be carrying it around. I don't need it this early in the game. I think they could get out of there. They're pretty small. They could fit through those bars. But, whatever. We'll get the one out. Elder, we're back! We're here to rescue you! Foolish child! Punio, sit down this instant and keep your mouth shut! Huh? What? Why? What did I do? Uh, listen, Elder, I don't know why you're mad, but we came here to help you. Stop your mumbling, you, and mind your elders, you whelp! How could you abandon your poor sister and run off like that? Absolutely shameful! But, but, Elder, I just went to find help to rescue you. Oh, stop with the whining. You never interrupt an Elder mid-lecture. Never! You wonder why the other punies call you a doofus sometimes? That's why. And your time to be a doofus is over, because you have to lead our puny tribe one day. That day is not far off, and that is why you need to listen. Now, first of all... Several hours later... Or else, you got that? From now on, you've got to get your act together, Punio. Yes, Elder, yes, I understand. Ah, only answer once! But say, by the way, why are you here anyway? Uh, I was just telling you we came to rescue everyone. Starting with you, Elder. Oh, is that so? Well, good. In that case, get me out of here already. Criminy! This cell is cold, which isn't good for the old back. And there's this damp stench. Uh, well, there she goes. Enough standing around. Just you wait, Petunia. I'll be right back for you. Okay, big brother. I'll be waiting. We need to find the blue key, too, right, Mario? Let's go downstairs and ask the Elder if she knows anything, and hope the answer is, you know, brief. Right, back the way we came. It'll be a little bit faster. Because in this room, we can just step off the edge and end up down here. Right, I forgot. By doing that, we left Punio behind. 
He only comes with you if you actually guide him to the pipes. Get over here already. Ah, that's irritating. So we do have to go the slow way. I guess it's not that much slower. But it would have been nicer if we could just jump off the edge like that. Well, if it isn't Punio. Humph, you heard me, Humph. I can't say I expected you to manage to rescue the Elder. I told you I could do it. Don't get a swelled head. This doesn't mean I accept you as our leader. And it definitely doesn't mean I completely trust that mustache guy, either. For starters, you still haven't rescued the other punies yet. I'm not lifting an antenna to help until you do. You stubborn mule! Despicable! How dare you talk like that, knowing what we're up against! The weirdo soldiers taking over our tree were bad enough, but now the Jabby tribe is helping them. We must stand together now. We must face them. Don't you understand that? What? The Jabby then the intruders have joined forces? Then maybe the Jabbies of the Blue Key. Shut your trap, Poot, Puniper, and Punio. And mind me, you hear? You'll help Mustachio here. What do you say your name was again? It was, uh, it was Marty, wasn't it? It's Mario. He's Mario. I mean, she, she's only world famous. Come on. Yes, yes, simmer down, you. And everyone else, help Mario clear out our tree. Oh, all right, Elder, whatever you say. I'm not heartless or anything. To tell you the truth, I'm worried about Petuni, too. And you're right, we have no choice. We must fight. Right, everybody? There you go, my punies. That's the spirit. Ten punies joined your party. That means we should have 11 of them now. Thanks, you guys. Hey, if you're done rallying everyone, I have a question. We're looking for this crystal star thingamajig. Ever hear of it? The crystal star, eh? Uh, yes, perhaps. Hidden down, down, down beneath the bottom of this tree is a funny colored stone. But what do we do with it? All right, guard it from evil and give it to a pure heart. That's what generations of elders have been taught. Might be the crystal star. Marty, or Mario, I'm calling it. Your heart seems pure enough, so that funny colored stone is yours. I don't quite see how just yet, but I bet all this is connected to us getting our tree back. You got all that, Mario? Crystal star underneath the bottom of the tree. Go to it. Right. Oh, hold your horses. I forgot something. Before you can get the crystal star, you must save all the captured punies. Yep, you'll never get to that gem without the help of the punies. Not a chance. So here, you better take this. It's the puny orb. It's a symbol of our leader. If you place this in the pedestals you'll see around the tree, the punies will gather. Just remember to take the orb with you when you're done using it. Because, well, if you don't, everyone will just kind of hang out and stare at the orb. You got a puny orb. The emblem of a puny leader given to you by the elder. Punies will gather when it's placed within a pedestal. All right, guys, let's go rescue everybody. Is there anything behind these things? Doesn't look like it. Oh, and one more thing. So sorry, so sorry. I've been awfully forgetful of late. On your way to the Crystal Star, if you lose any of the punies, just come see me. What I'll do is I'll give a whistle to call them back here. You got all that? Right. So, you know, the game does its best, but these things sometimes have pathing errors, and they get lost regardless of your best efforts. So yeah, if that ever happens, come back here, and the Elder will whistle them up for you. Now, first things first. We have 11 punies in our puny party.
That really ought to be good enough, but it's not. So what we have to do then... Wait, what? What? Was that my Pro Controller messing up again? Ah. Anyway, as I was saying... Place this in the pedestal. You place the Puny Orb! And that brought up another pipe. Oh, look, a new pipe. Come on, let's jump in. We removed the puny orb. Okay. So the punies all follow us down. And now we're on the other side of this door. Okay. Ah, uh, darn it. That really irritates me. At least I got her action command. Ah. Uh. He attacked more slowly than I realized, so I pushed the guard button too early. Alright, that made up for the not-so-great first round. first now we can go through here which brings us back here now if we go down here the punies will not follow us into the drink Which is just fine. We don't actually need them over here. Oh! A Thunder Rage! Now that's a good item. I'll toss the mushroom. No, wait. I'll use the mushroom on Goombella. But yeah, Thunder Rage. Electricity damage on all enemies. Five points worth of electricity damage. There are some enemies it doesn't work on. You know, obviously zappy enemies. Now we can get across here no problem. The punies, as we've already observed previously, they will not jump off a cliff or over a cliff. So what do we do? Well... If we... Have Flurry send them across like so... There we are. We got our team successfully across the gap. I know that there are still new enemies that we have not been able to scan yet. Run! Piter alert! They fell off the blasted ledge. Ah. I 
think these things have 4 HP. Oh, no, they have more than that. Because I've done 4 HP to that one in front. That's a piter. Ick! They gross me out. Max HP 5, attack 2, and defense 0. Ew. Besides its normal attacks, it might spit three web wads at you consecutively. You better have good timing if you want to guard against its attacks. It also says here that the punies can't stand piters, so I'm not the only one. Just the sight of these things makes punies flee in terror. I know how they feel. Power smash this guy in back. Now that he's low enough for the hammer to reach. And then. Ah! Darn it. Got one of the attacks guarded. Since we're getting lots of applause anyway, let's do some healing. More than enough to get back up to full. And... Uh, tried to do a stylish... Oh well. Oh yay, double star points. Eight instead of four. I mean, okay. Better than a sharp stick in the eye, I guess. I saw those punies fall off the edge here. Ack. I only have 10 of 11. That's annoying. that shine sprite. Where's the 11th? Oop. I was trying to dodge that guy and I ran right into him instead. Ah. This is not going to be fun. Let's see. Okay. First things first. Power smash the uh, Pale Piranha. That'll one-shot it. And then... I guess head bonk this guy. Once again, power smash the Pale Piranha. And then, yeah, head bonk this guy again. Oh, darn it. Got a stylish move, but missed the action command.
And... Sure, let's hammer this guy. And... Ah! I keep missing that action command. That's really getting on my nerves. There we go. Okay, I'm still missing a puny though. get rid of that thing on the paper airplane panel. I've forgotten. Ah. Okay, now I have all 11 of them. <coughs> Excuse me. Is there a switch under one of these, perhaps? Oh. Once again, I was trying to dodge and I walked right into him. Yeah, if I had Coops instead of Goombella, I could do more damage to that Piter in the back, but only while it's close to the ground like it is now. Oh! Wait a second, that didn't dizzy it. It looked like it did, but now it's still undizzy. Hmm. Doing the stylish move just messes up the action command for me. That time I messed up the stylish move, but did get the action command. <laughs> Maybe it's something later. Although that's kind of odd. But, oh well. Doesn't seem like there's anything we can do yet. Oh, oh, look at that. Mario! That was a jabby! And I was right! They have the key to the blue cell! Our tribes have been enemies for a long time now. Every time we meet, we fight. A lot. And now we know they're helping the intruders and trying to seize the tree. But I used to get along with Jabal. He's of the Jabby tribe. The Jabal I knew would be hiding somewhere right now, not wanting to fight anyone. 
I wonder if even Jabal is my enemy now. Okay, we need that blue key. Everyone, it's the Jabbies! It's the 10 Jabby Squadron! Uh, let's get them! Come on! We can join in. We did it! Wow, we did it! We defeated every last Jabby here! Now we have to destroy the Jabby Hive Fortress. Okay. Where are these red buckets? So where's the blue key? There's the blue key. Yes! With this key, we should be able to open the cell my people are locked in. Hurry, we have to free my sister and the others. And they'll never come back, and that's that. And what's going to happen to us, and... Hey, by the way, what's that thing you've been holding on to so tightly? It's a mushroom! Oh, not to be, you know, rude, but it looks all dry and wrinkly and gross. Yeah, yeah, I know. I picked it so I could give it to my brother to eat. But then it got captured and stuck in here, and after a few days it dried out. Oh, really? Great story. Anyway, don't worry so much. All my complaining aside, I'm sure Punio will return. Yeah, we have the key now, so we can let him out. Although there is... more space to explore here. I'm sure that there are some piters along here to block the punies. Yep, there's one right up there. And I'm gonna fall down. Oh, come on! I'm sure I got that action command. Ah! Come on! I pushed it right before I hit him. Man, this is irritating. I guess I could hit them with a thun the Thunder Rage, but... Uh. Maybe the Pal Block? Maybe the Fire Flower? Just seems kind of wasteful to use one of these attack items when I already finished one of them off. Yeah, you know what? I'll use a mushroom fry instead. Alright. Since he's low enough, Let's get some real damage on him. Ah, 
totally messed that one up. And again. Um, I'm almost afraid to find out what happens. <laughs> really? Okay. I was actually aiming for that. Ooh, more coins. Yay. Effect of the charm increase your coins threefold. You know, I think Punio said something about a hidden shop somewhere in this area. If you need any items, we should try to find it, huh? Did he now? Well, first we gotta collect the other punies. There we go. I was saying before that I wanted to find a shop so I could store that ultra shroom. Oh! A star piece! Oh, I see. Pungent, the master of the manager of this shop. Weird place for shop, if you ask me. But since we're here, I guess we could buy something. That's Pungry of the Punnies. Punies, sorry. He seems to be friends with Pungent, as far as I can tell. I guess they avoided any trouble with the x knots by holing up in here. Oh, mushrooms are only three coins here. There's a jabby back there. Howdy do da day, bud. Welcome to Pundin's shop. What can I do for you? I need to store, thank you. Okay, you can have that. Hmm. I don't need this right now. That's good enough for the time being. Anything else you need? Uh, no, I'm good. Come back anytime, bud. An ice storm. Blows a cold wind at all enemies that does three damage and freezes them. Let's get one. Fifteen coins for an ice storm. Interested? Yep. HP drain. Does five damage to a foe while replenishing your own HP by five. Hey, what the heck? Mario, there's somebody here. Try talking to him. Hey, it's Jabble. Why are you hiding back here? Whoa, a Jabby? Not good. That little fellow's gonna get mixed up in my stock. But I suppose I can't go discipline in him. He's still just a kid, after all. He is just a kid, Mario. Maybe we should take it easy on him? No, let's get him! Uh, Punio wouldn't be happy about that. Let's leave him be. I wonder what his deal is. He seems so lonely. Like he's watching us secretly, you know? Yeah, he almost looks like a lost little kitty cat looking for a home. Ah, too cute. Hey, you don't think he... He wouldn't want to join us, would he? Young Jabby silently nodded his head. It appears you have a new ally. Ah. My nose is not happy right now. Wait, 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 wait. 
I heard the rumors from Madame Flurry to them jabbies. Yeah, the word is out. Mario can win over the hearts of anyone and everyone. I tell you, as a people person and a salesman, I must say I'm more than a little jealous. The shop is hard to spot, so I've been in here hiding from those goons this whole time. But those fiends have been searching high and low for something inside this tree. What could they be looking for? You have any idea? I know exactly what they're looking for. Okay. So we have the blue key. Before we go back, let's see if we can clear out this area. Spider! Oh, I missed him. There's a box right there. Where is he exactly? Like, is it right? Oh, darn it! Of all the times for my Pro Controller's left stick to not cooperate. So I want to jump on him. There we go. Oh, come on. I don't buy it. I am push the action command properly. What is going on here? Is this another problem with my pro controller? I don't like the thought of, you know, blaming my controller for this. Ah, whatever. You know what? That's exactly what the Thunder Rage was made for. Okay, so... There is a red question mark block right there. Can I get it from here? No, I can't. Darn it. How am I supposed to get it then? There's a very conspicuous arrow right here. Huh. Well, that didn't really do anything. I don't remember how to get that red question mark block. So that's something else we're going to have to leave for later. Right then. 
back up to the uh, cell where the punies are being kept. hidden thing here something that flurry could blow away for us maybe this thing ah uh ha -huh. Okay, I once again pushed X instead of Y. The punies are totally afraid of these piters. When a piter drops, the punies completely lose it and bolt it in every direction. You're going to have to defeat any piters near the path you, you want to lead the punies along. I figured that out. But thanks for the confirmation. Ah, stop that. There we go. Okay, is that two or three? It's three, okay. <clears throat> when we get back to Rogueport, Goombella's the next one to get powered up. Flurry's nice and all, but Goombella's just seems more useful. If nothing else, because of how much information she can give me. However, for incidents like this, she definitely comes in handy. Does flurry. Okay. Up we go. So far so good. Tony, I'm back. We brought the key. We're opening the cell right now. Blue key. They're so small, they could have gotten out of there easily, I'm sure. Big brother! Little Petuni! Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Nope, I'm fine. Thank heavens. Hey, big brother, I have something for you. I meant to give this to you sooner, but... Mushrooms are your favorite, aren't they, big brother? But, well, this one kind of got dried out. Oh, nasty. Big brother? It was icky, wasn't it? I'm sorry. No, not, not at all. Mmm-mm. Delicious. Very, uh, very uh, yummy. Big brother, you okay? Give me a hug, Batoni. Hey, quit it, Punio. Come on, don't get all mushy. Everyone's staring. Well, it was just a really sweet gesture, that's all. Ah, uh, with nothing. 90 Punies have joined your party. Now there are 101. A rather common number in Nintendo games. 
Yeah, now we're going to get pathing errors with these guys. And we're just past the one hour mark. So let's just get to the next save block. Come on, all of you. It does seem to be going better than it did back in the GameCube version. Because, wow, did the punies in that game have pathing issues. Okay. Well, we are a bit past the one hour mark, so I'd say this is a good place to stop. So, we've uh, accomplished quite a bit. Saved all the punies, got ourselves a little army, or perhaps a big army of little punies. You know, whatever you want, however you want to see it. And now we're set to really roll this place over. So, thanks for watching Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the next episode, I hope we'll be able to finish up the Great Tree. There is still a fair amount to do in here, but we're well on our way to getting it done. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.